Hey there guys, it's me, the episode 6 here, back with another video, and today we are going to be reviewing the Sony WI-XB400 Extra Base! Yes, you heard me right. I've already got the Skull Candy Crushers and now I'm getting these. So, as you can tell by this stupid stick on the front, I got it from Amazon Warehouse because it's a bit cheaper and it's just a bit of damaged packaging, so why not? Oh, these stickers are the stupid stickers. Give me a minute to peel this. Well, I tried, but I got not much work, so you know what, sod it. Let's just open it. So I believe you meant to open it from down here, but apparently I can't cut tape. Or, oh, sorry, I can't peel tape. So, give me a second. Come on. There we go. So. Now we get in. We've got just little bits of info from Sony. Like we care. Oh, someone's been stupid and taped bits to where it doesn't need to be. Hold on, let me sort that. Bit of manpower later. Oh, God, I've got to take it out of the box. You know what? Sorry, I'll put you there. I'm an absolute mess today. But, way! I did a Toby! Everything almost went flying. Luckily, I'm smart enough and I didn't open it. Fully. So, here are the buds themselves. You can see the excess cable down here. Give me the buds. So, by default, these will have the medium tip. Very nice. And magnetic, which I can't do the magnet properly. I think it's meant to be like dangling, then they flip on or something. Can't clip. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. That's how it's meant to be. So, yeah, uh, also in the box, we get the world's smallest USB C cable that I have ever seen. It says Sony, I believe. Yes, it does. And it says China on the other side. We all love China. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly plug these in, wherever the power slot is. So the power slot on these is on this side. And the best thing is, is I have the old ones of these. So I'm just going to quickly plug them in so whilst I talk uh, they can charge. So a bit about the product, they're the, hold on, we've also got more stuff, all up. We've got about five years worth of documentation. Don't forget to register your new product online. Wireless stereo headset, wireless stereo headset and European warranty. That's what we always need. So, now we need to put all these back in the packaging. Which I seem to be unable to do. Gosh dang, sticky tape. Let me put that sticky tape on there, sir. That's where it's probably going to be, it's permanent home now. Oh. Come on! This video could be called Man Has Issues Putting Instruction Manual Back in Pamphlet, or whatever you call them. There we go, so... That belongs... There, there we go, that'll do. And this is an instruction manual. So, for tips, I'll sort those out later to get my proper fit. But yeah, that's pretty much is all in the box. On the side of the box, it does specify its extra base feature. 
which I will be using. I am actually going to quickly read that instruction manual just in case I have to enable the extra base by pressing the button. Please ignore my chair creaking. I need to get a new one. Donate me a new chair, please. If you want no creaking, donate me a new chair. time I suppose. So about that shortcut, stuff had to happen in life. Anyway. Getting this out of the bag is an actual pain. I have to push it out because it's so tightly added. So, what do you say? Basically, I'll suck eggs. I don't say anything there. What do you say? You fancy little book, look. Right and left. <coughs> okay, so that is how they work. It's quite easy then. Very easy. <laughs> Please cut one moment. Same as before.
have some. Ugh. So about that shortcut. Got a pest, it keeps pestering. Anyway. What he's done with these tips, just so you know if you were to buy these, because I'm doing a proper review, is that these tips actually have been taped fully together. So to actually get into these, it's going to be a pain in the bum. Like a royal pain in the bum. Like so much of a pain, I'm just going to whip the bag. I don't know if that's because of Amazon Warehouse, but that's just how I got it. So then. It's Ripley Big. You see one small tip. Let us. Just continue ripping the bag. And we see another small tip. Bag ripping intensifies. And we see not another tip. Hold on. Link it out. Here we go. We see the two big tips. There we go. Finally. Over there. There we go, chuck it over there, that'll do. Hold on, let me sort out my TV because I'm going to need something to test it with. Cut this out. Alright, mate, cut it. Please tell me you've cut it. Thank you. So, I have now got my trusty MacBook, which can do many of things. It's not giving brain cells, because it's an Apple product. Anyway, crunchy jokes aside, ah, that's the thing to notice. If you do put these on a computer, I just found this out because I just put them on a computer. If you put these on a computer, then they will uh, start to, uh, what's it called? Shit, I forgot what it's called. Magnetise because the case is magnetic. I don't know if this is the same for the Max. Not really. The only thing it will magnetise to on these Max is actually the MagSafe port. But you can see it didn't have a strong grip anyway. Ta da! See, there you go. I think if I just move that cable, just stay in there until I move it. So, yeah, that is the only thing it magnetises to. Anyway, let's chuck these behind your neck. Oh Jesus, I forgot how long this cable was. At least I got left and right. Yes, I did. And let's plug them in. Now, personally, already, this is a very nice fit. And that's just on the medium tips. I'm pretty sure this side has got all the buttons. So I need the power of one to them, which is pressing and holding the centre one. It says power on. And if I press and hold, it should go to Bluetooth pairing. Yes, it does. So I'm now on my MacBook. Let's get my phone to show you this. I'm now on my MacBook, and you can see WIXB400. It's now saying Bluetooth connected, which is very nice. So I'm now going to go ahead. I'm going to open up, let's see, Apple Music. Nah, nah, nah. Do I have Spotify on here? Okay, we're going to go with Apple Music. It's not even called Apple Music. 
It's just called music. But that will do because I've got some nice high quality audio on there. So, that's the wrong thing. Just want to check my battery because I know what I'm like. Um, uh, not now. Let's go to songs. Uh, am I signed in? No, I'm not. Give me a sec. I need to sign in. I didn't even think I wasn't signed in. Should be a password. Oh, the best. So I'm now logged in, so it should pick everything up. Give it a minute. It's Apple Music, it's slow. Mm, duh, 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 duh. Recently added. Wow, well, Apple Music. Let's think of a nice song. I'm just thinking of the first song that comes to my mind. It will do. It will do as a song. I know how it sounds. Let's go. Just after listening for that short period of time, I can definitely tell that there is more bass compared to the old ones of these, which is the WIC 300s. I'm pretty sure that's the model number. I had those as well. A uh, friend called Toby, thank you Toby, because he actually recommended me those as well. Gave them to me. He uh, rides bike, and so do I. So we both enjoy them for a lot of listening to music whilst riding. Now don't get me wrong, they're not going to be as like good as a pair of these £100 Sennheiser GFP 500s which are currently actually on, I've currently got myself on mute so I can't even hear It's like, it matches the audio quality kind of but in like the ear kind of bud five frames I've listened to, what ear buds have I had? I've had the JBL 3 these ones, which handily are not in there right now. I just have the 300 version of these, and you can see just why I mean is that there's no tangling at all. And I must admit, quite nice quality, like I can fling this around a bit. And the magnets do not detach. You can see when I give it a proper fling, it does. But I think in the end, it will, after I've worn for a while, and they know like where they end up. They will like automatically go plunk and we magnetize like that. You can see magnetization is good, so I can even drop it on my uh, door handle here or door knob, whatever you want to call it. Oops, one. Uh, and well, they split apart, but what they did is they actually rejoined together. I didn't put these back together, but because they knew where it was going to end up, like if I just put it all the way back up here again, oh, they missed. Oh, our first drop. But you can see, like, they will finally, in the end, they will find out where they were. Which they don't want to do right now. 
Come on. You know you want to. You can see it kind of did it, but the other time it just went clunk like that. I mean, quite nice headphones. I'll give you a more in-depth review down the line once I've properly spent a good amount of time with these. And it'll be, I can't wait to spend time with these. I will definitely keep you updated on all my social medias, uh, at the APC06 on Twitter. I'm highly active on there. Snapchat is the APC06 underscore YT. I'm secondly most active on there. My two most active. Instagram, the APC06 underscore YT. Not really active on there. And uh, Facebook. I haven't set that up properly yet, so I will need to set that up properly. Uh, all links for that is in the description. Links for these headphones will be in the description. Uh, sorry it took so long to actually record this video. I got interrupted a few times. Um, but yeah, I think, personally, for £40, for £40 great British pounds, these are absolutely amazing for what the price is. Considering I have, I've got stuff from cheap to expensive, I've got my Edifier speakers behind me, those were £120. I've got my Logitech Z333s, they were £30. I've got all different price ranges. Same with computers, I've got a £1,500 computer there, which you've seen in another video, link is on my YouTube channel somewhere. I've then got otherwise a MacBook, I've also got a Windows laptop around there somewhere, or oh, I've got a Surface Pro 1. It's so like with phones again, I've got cheap to expensive, I've got drives, I've got cheap to expensive drives, I can have stuff. Cheap like an SSD or a 500 gig M.2 drive. But um, yeah, it's all different and all that, because of what I have. But I'd say considering the price you pay for these and the sound quality that I have just experienced for the first time, I have not done any pre-testing on these. They're quite good, I'm currently trying to see if I can find my old ones. But from the second you put these on, if you have the old ones, you will notice more bass. But the real question is, is, is it worth the upgrade from WIC300s? I would personally argue it is. With the amount of bass they add and the amount of... There's slight adjustments. There's a bit more on the lows. So I'm just checking the weather because I might go on a ride after this to give it more of an in-depth test. There's quite a bit more of the lows included. Mid-range is about the same. Quite nice though. Bass is definitely there. Personally, I am a bass head. But yeah, you bet I'm going to be pairing these up with my phone and I will give you a more in-depth review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you did. If you didn't, then uh, I'm sure that other button works as well somehow. Make sure you click it. And if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe because I mean, this isn't free to buy. I don't have all the money in the world, unfortunately. But yes, I will definitely be using these. And I want to give a massive shout out to Toby, my friend, who actually recommended me these. If it wasn't for him, then I wouldn't have bought these, to be honest. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Power. Oh. Right. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. Yeah. Let's get charging.